What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about what happens when you hit level 100 in Black Ops Cold War. Before I get into that, make sure everyone checks out everything down in the description. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, uh, of course, if you'd like to join the community Discord, or you can check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing, that sells gaming chairs, office chairs, desks, that kind of thing. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, I would appreciate it. Of course, if I look at my analytics here on the channel, a lot of people that watch the videos are not subscribed. So if you could take just a second to do that, it would be... Uh, I, like I said, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, kind of like any other rank in Black Ops Cold War so far, 100 is not really that, you know, impressive by the amount of things you get. Uh, of course, when you hit level 100, that means you are Prestige 3. And as you can see, I did hit that yesterday. You did get another Prestige key. I got another, um, you know, Prestige emblem that I can put onto my weapon as a sticker. That kind of thing, uh, I can use this emblem as my emblem in game beside my calling card. But besides that, nothing really important. Of course, at you know level 50 prestige 2, you did receive that shotgun blueprint that you can see right here on screen, that not, uh, not fall blueprint. But overall, it really wasn't that impressive. I was hoping we would get a little bit more. I, I knew pretty much what we were going to get, but I was hoping maybe there was just some kind of surprise here at the end. Now, there are reports from Treyarch that eventually you're going to be able to go past uh, level 100. I'm assuming they're not going to do this in the preseason or season zero, what we're in right now. They're probably going to wait until season one starts, of course, December the 10th before you're able to do this. But Treyarch has said that uh, after you hit level 100 prestige, you know, the third prestige in any season, you'll be able to go to 150 and get another prestige key, uh, of course, the emblem, that kind of thing. And then to level 200, which is going to give you all these rewards that you're being, that you've been getting the whole time but also a calling card that is the Prestige Master Calling Card. I was hoping that we might be able to do that uh, after, you know, or during this season, after you hit level uh, or Prestige 3, level 100. But so far, every game that I have played since I've hit level 100, I've not gained any XP. I've not gone past 100. Um, now, it has been bugged out for me since Prestige 2. Ever since I hit 50 every time at the end of the game, the circle would fill up and it would just say zero underneath it. So I never got to see how much XP I actually gained. So I'm not sure if something like that is bugged out with Prestige 3. But leave me a comment and let me know if you've hit 100 yet. If you're um, able to gain anything else or you're going up in levels at all. I'm assuming you're not going to be able to. I'm assuming they're going to cut it off right now at 100. And like I said, the next, you know, season lets you go up to level 200. Because, you know, December the 10th is just a few weeks away. It would be a pretty big grind to go from 100 to 200 again uh, in, within the next couple of weeks. I'm assuming these seasons are probably going to be like uh, Modern Warfare seasons length. We're probably going to have 50 or 60 days to complete them, which if you do play a lot, you probably will have a chance to hit that, you know, Prestige 1, 2, 3, and then go all the way up to 200 just to get that calling card that does say Prestige Master. I was kind of hoping for more when you gain Prestiges in game. I know they kind of changed the prestige system that, you know, it automatically goes into it now. You don't lose anything when you go into the prestige system. They still have the kind of season system that they had within Modern Warfare. And I understand that they wanted to kind of meet a happy or kind of have a happy medium between people that wanted prestige back and people that wanted the Modern Warfare system back. But at the same time, I don't feel like really prestiging is as, as gratifying as it was in the past. I don't feel like you're really get anything for it. I mean, our prestige key and emblem, it's all right, but I was kind of hoping, you know, the further you progressed into prestige, you know, maybe get the emblem and the key at one and then the emblem and the key and like the, not uh, the nightfall, uh, shotgun blueprint here at, you know, at 50. And then when you hit prestige three, 100, you got something else, you know, added kind of onto that. That way it would give people the incentive to continue to play because right now there's a lot of people out there saying they're getting tired of the game already because of the, sweaty sweaty skill based matchmaking you all know how i feel about it i understand that it has to be in the game but i think between modern warfare and black ops cold war both of these games could have the skill based matchmaking probably turned down a notch i get that they don't want above average players and below average players in the lobby uh in the same lobby all the time that way you know one is just getting destroyed uh and i understand their reasoning saying well if we do this our analytics show that people that are you're not as, as good at the game will continue to play but at the same time, in my opinion, I don't know if they look at the analytics of the people that do enjoy the game that are better that quit playing just because they're tired of playing in sweaty lobbies 24-7. I've always said, if you're going to have skill-based matchmaking, you might as well just have a ranked playlist in every COD because I would rather 
be in a ranked playlist, gaining rank, losing rank, if I'm going to have to play these really intense games personally. And I, I really enjoy rank, so I hope we get some kind of ranking system like Black Ops 2 had, you know, a ranked play system back in this game eventually. Uh, of course, David Vanderhaar has teased some of that here and there over the last few months. Now, if you want to look at the combat record, it took me around two days and 48 minutes in multiplayer to be able to get to level 100. Of course, I do have 48 minutes of playtime there in Zombies. Not played a lot of Zombies, but I did enjoy what I did play. Uh, combat record-wise, not really that impressive. A 154. Um, I was kind of wondering, maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'm just not as good at COD as I thought I was, <laughs> or maybe I used to be. Um, usually, I average around a 2 KD uh, or higher, you know, 250, close to 3 in some, but usually between 2 and 250 is about my average. Uh, of course, last year in Modern Warfare, I had about a 170, 168. Never really could get above a 180 in Modern Warfare, of course. We did have some pretty sweaty lobbies in there as well. And then I started seeing a lot of people online, whether it be streamers, YouTubers, pro players, saying that they're having trouble with their KD as well. You know, we're struggling. And then I didn't really feel as bad that I have a 154, so maybe that's not as bad as I thought. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, you know, uh, kind of what the average is right now. I know a lot of people are saying it's skill-based matchmaking, you know, is this, that, or the other. But, you know... It kind of is what it is, you know. I was going to have to go with the flow and, and play the game maybe a little bit differently. Uh, to me, you have to adapt to it and play differently when it's the lobbies are like they are. I've been playing a lot of Team Deathmatch to begin with. Um, and those lobbies were very sweaty. But my issue with Team Deathmatch to begin with has been uh, the problem of the spawn system not being right. I mean, you will spawn on either side of the map. It will split the spawns a lot. So both teams are spawning together on both sides of the map. And either you will spawn in front of the enemy team or they will spawn in front of you and you'll just get shot in the back. And I can't tell you how many times a game that I either die to as soon as I spawn up getting shot in the back or shooting someone in the back from the other team. At least 10 or 15 times a game. It's kind of crazy. So lately I've been kind of transitioning uh, transitioning into playing more hardpoint and dom, that kind of thing. Just to see, you know, if I can control the spawns a little bit better. Uh, especially if you're playing by yourself. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know how far you got into the prestige system. Let me know how much time you've had, you know, kind of had played. Uh, leave me your, you know, KD if you want. If you don't want to, that is fine. If you want to talk about your KD down in the comment section, you can do that as well. Like I said, mine's not that great, but it is kind of a grindy game. Like I said, it is what it is. We're all just going to have to adapt, I guess, and kind of go forward. But, of course, I just want to let you guys know exactly what happens when you hit prestige 3, level 100. Nothing too exciting, unfortunately. I was wishing there was more. Let me know if you would like to see more kind of rewards as well to these prestiges. And, of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.